We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man's. Did the CIA write Wind of Change by the Scorpions? <laughs> <laughs> As humans busied themselves about the various concerns, they were scrutinized and studied. Dr. Loeb, what percentage chance do you give it that you have indeed uncovered extraterrestrial or non-human technology? With infinite complacence, people went about their affairs, yet across an immense ethereal gulf, intellects vast and unsympathetic through their plans against us. Prior to your abduction, did you believe in UFOs or any sort of alien life form? All things unexplained. So some of that I think there will say for close session. I just love that intro. <laughs> it's just so classic. Mm. All right. Hello, everyone, all of our unexplained ones out there. I'm CJ Derringer, joined with my co-host tonight, Dr. Tim Mounts. And we also have a very special guest this evening, or it might be daytime when you're listening. You can't see him, but you will be able to hear him. We have Tom Medlin joining us on the show tonight. And we do have a very, very exciting night planned for you. We've had so much going on in the world of all things unexplained. And Tom Medlin is the man that we needed to get down to business here. So thank you so much for joining us. Before we dive into the show, I just wanted to um, throw it out there. Please do follow us on social media, whether you're on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, or I'm sure there's a thousand others that I don't know because I'm just a boring mom these days. But um, find us, follow us, go ahead and follow us wherever you get your podcasts as well. Subscribe, give us a like, leave us a comment. Additionally, we do depend on listener support like you guys. We appreciate any support that you can send our way. So we're going to dive right in. Like I said, we've got a big show for you. Tom Medlin is our guest. And uh, while the rest of you were watching the Super Bowl a few weekends ago, we were having a Super Bowl of our own in terms of unidentified aerial phenomena. So while you were cheering on Patrick Mahomes, the next day, everybody was reaching out to Tom Medlin, trying to get his insight into what is going on in the world of uh, ufology, as we call it here. So he is the host of a podcast called Amateur Radio Roundtable, which we had the pleasure of joining last night. It was lovely. Everybody check it out. It's a great group of people. And um, they do a live video feed every Tuesday night on w5kub.com. And that's at 8 p.m. Central Time. And let me tell you, it's worth the tuning in just to see all of the gadgets that <laughs> Tom and all of his co-hosts have sitting behind them as well. They are um, ham radio I think they say amateurs, but I'm pretty sure they're experts and uh, really, really good stuff over there. So thanks again for having us. And thank you, Tom, for joining us on our show this evening. So welcome, Tom. Wow. It sounds like you have a lot of people there. <laughs> thank you. Thank Tom you for us, having us on the show. Yeah, Tom's joining us by you. phone, by the way. Yes. Joining yeah, us I'm on phone. the phone. You know, you know, we, we had a video, we, we were on video last night with you guys and, uh, I think that the reason we are not able to do video tonight, you guys have us blocked somehow because you found out I have a I have a face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Steve, I not have a face for radio. So. Yeah, that well, so anyway, hey, thank you. Thank Appreciate you so much for uh, having us on here. Man, I could talk uh, to you guys for like three days on this subject and still not cover it all. So uh, it's going to be jam-packed tonight. I'll try to answer your questions. Uh, let me tell you a little about me real quick. Yes, um, do. I'm, uh, I'm retired. Uh, I'm a uh, electronics engineer and, uh, let's see, a senior member of the, uh, Institute for Electrical and Electronic uh, Engineers. Uh, been a ham, uh, extra class ham now for about 59 years. And, uh, I, I've always been in the business of trying to design and build uh, equipment and new things. And, uh, I got into the Pico balloon hobby here all four or five years ago, and it's been uh, really exciting. And uh, we've made some great improvements to how it was back then to how it is today. 
Wonderful. Well, and the ballooning is, yeah. is how we got in touch with you. And um, tell us, where are you located, Tom? I'm in Carrierville, Tennessee. That's just outside of Memphis, Tennessee. Tennessee. Yes. Okay. So not terribly far away from us in terms of, you know, this side of the country. <laughs> and you said you just had a right, storm right. blow through there, which is why I feel like we had gorgeous huh. weather here today, yeah. which you wouldn't be able to tell because I'm wearing a turtleneck. I don't know why it was very hot and it's going to be hot tomorrow, but most of the country is like under snow warnings and blizzard warnings, right? I mean, people are getting pounded with, oh, yeah. with snow today, which is crazy, but we are certainly glad that, um, you are are here to join us and we have so many things we want to cover and um, we definitely want to go into your podcast a little bit more and then we've got some technical questions about these balloons that you have uh, been building uh, as well as some listener questions and comments so those of you that are joining us if you have questions please do type them in we might not get to them right away but we do have a section dedicated at the end of the show where we want to dive into some of your questions because you probably have lots of things that we haven't even thought of before. And um, just a little teaser for what Tom is going to get into. We've done lots of podcasts in the past few weeks about these balloons that have been shot down by F-22s. Uh, it started with the Chinese spy balloon, uh, as we've been calling it. And then after that, there were three more that were shot down. And it came out that one of the balloons was actually potentially belonging to a Northern Illinois um, hobbyist club. They call themselves the Bottle Cap Balloon Brigade, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Tom, you created, you built something that was part in that balloon, correct? That was eventually shot well, down. You know, I, well, I, after talking with them more, I realized they did not fly one of the little tractors that we make. Uh, they they actually had a different one that they, they built up. But uh, we know the people. We've worked with them and tried to help them get on their feet. Uh it's a little difficult when you try to send a balloon around the world. You know, the first balloon usually doesn't make it, and uh, the second usually doesn't make it, and you got to keep fine tuning things, and uh, you'll eventually make it. Three years ago, you had to try 10 times before you get one around the world. Uh, now, we can just about guarantee uh, it will go around the world the first time. I mean, we've got it so fine tuned. In fact, uh, I've got several balloons up right now. Uh, one we're very proud of. Uh, it, it's been up 252 days. It's flying at about 50,000 feet, and it's circled the, the uh, world uh, about 12 or 13 times now. It's incredible. Uh, Tim, I'm, your audio is not coming through. If you said something there, I, I did not hear it. Yeah, I just said, well, all okay. fine. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, gotcha, okay. That was amazing. Um, <laughs> yes, that is amazing. So Tom's having, uh, he's been doing his podcast for 10 years, and we'll chat with you about that, but uh, you are having a little bit of your 15 minutes of fame because lots of people have been trying to contact you recently to get your insight on these balloons. In fact, you mentioned last night on your show that CNN had reached out to you and BBC and several others. And so we are honored to have you here with us tonight on All Things Unexplained. Thank you for giving us your time and joining us here this evening. So we'll just dive right into it. So tell us a little bit more about your podcast, your live show that you do every week. Thanks. Like. Share, follow, comment, subscribe, support. What's your hot take on Travis Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> it, I've got an exclusive for you guys if you okay. want it about yeah, the Alaska. Absolutely. We do. Okay, okay. More at BigfootUFO.com. All things unexplained. So some of that I think, sir, will save the post. Mm -hmm.